Today, here's why your content isn't ranking on Google. Clavio has a new enterprise offering. Twitter's new ad format lets your brand have its own like button. And here it is, the worst and funniest post-read podcast ad of all time. No, it's not mine. It's Thursday, June 23rd. I'm Todd Maffin. Here's what you missed today in digital marketing. Have you ever had content on your brand's website not rank in Google no matter what you do or how fast your site is? There may be a simple answer. Google today updated its help document about Googlebot, the piece of code that crawls and indexes web pages. Quoting that document, Googlebot can crawl the first 15 megabytes of content in an HTML file or supported text-based file. After the first 15 megs of the file, Googlebot stops crawling and only considers the first 15 megabytes of content for indexing, unquote. Meaning, make sure the content that you want Google to rank for is in that first 15 megs of your web page. Although it wasn't particularly clear in their docs, I'm guessing that this does not include the file size of any images, though, of course, it would include the tiny bit of HTML code that references the image. You can test your site's current index status by using Google's URL inspection tool to diagnose any SEO issues on your site. The email and SMS marketing platform Klaviyo had a small product announcement this morning. The platform is particularly popular in the direct-to-consumer space. They're calling it Klaviyo One. It's essentially their existing platform, but with a new set of extra stuff aimed at the large brand enterprise space, like more security options, more responsive support, and so on. And the second part of their announcement I thought was more interesting. The database that drives their platform will now also be available as a standalone product. Jenna Crane leads product marketing at Clavio. She joins me now. Jenna, what is the use case here? Why would someone only want to use part of the Clavio system? They could still do the same um, powerful, you know, personalized marketing. It's just if they wanted to buy only the CDP part of Clavio and then integrate a different email and SMS solution, they could do that. So obviously, we we believe that you know it's better when you use those both together and they work natively, incredibly integrated tightly. But um, but if you really did you know, love your email and SMS provider, you could buy just the Klaviyo customer data platform to make segmentation you know, super easy and then add on to it the, your, your existing email and SMS platform. I see. Okay. So like a little more modular. Got it. I, by the way, now that I have you, I have another question I've always wanted to know. What does Klaviyo actually mean? Why is it named that? Do you know? Yeah, I do. So it is. Um, it was based off the Spanish word clavia, which um, the English translation, I believe, is Python, which is basically what rock climbers use to anchor into the rock uh, to support them as they climb. And so that's always been core to the Klaviyo mission is that we are the, the anchors that support people who are climbing to great heights. <laughs> Got it. Jenna Crane leads product marketing at Clavio. If you'd like to check out their announcement today, they have a new mini site up at clavio.com slash one. That's spelled K-L-A-V-I-Y-O dot com slash O-N-E. As we reported earlier this week, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced that Meta will be giving third party platforms access to subscriber only Facebook groups through interoperable subscriptions. This lets creators grant access to subscriber-only groups to their paying fans and subscribers. Following the announcement, podcasting platform Acast announced that the companies are developing an integration between its subscription service, Acast Plus, and Facebook groups. Podcasters using Acast Plus's platform will be able to offer their listeners access to Meta's subscriber-only groups on Facebook where they interact directly with creators and access benefits like live streams, Q&As, and special events. Here's how it'll work. When a fan subscribes to Acast Plus membership, they will be automatically admitted to the group by linking the subscription to their Facebook account right in the podcast feed. The idea is to make it easier for podcasters to build their own community for listeners rather than having to manually find and add them. This has some potential for marketers. Already, some brands and creators have clubs or memberships in Discord where membership is controlled by a third-party platform like Patreon. Once someone buys the right tier of Patreon membership, Patreon gives that person access in the creator's Discord via a Discord API. That's essentially what Facebook groups will be able to do. 
opening up the opportunities for brands to more easily manage memberships in everything from VIP groups to customer groups to, I don't know, influencer clubs. What would your brand's custom like button be? Well, Twitter announced yesterday that it will launch branded likes as an ad option to all advertisers next week. Branded likes lets you create custom like animations for your tweets. For example, the campaign for the Scream movie featured a heart being slashed with a knife when you liked the tweet. How much will an ad campaign like this cost? Well, Twitter hasn't released pricing yet, but it could be expensive considering that it charged advertisers $1 million for branded emojis during the Super Bowl. While it works on rolling out a new ad option, Twitter also announced the launch of its new forecasting tool called Campaign Planner. The planner lets advertisers forecast campaign results before making them live. With the tool, advertisers can measure several performance outcomes like reach, impressions, average frequency, and projected CPM. The insights are based on estimates from Twitter's database. Advertisers can also use the planner to budget for auction-based campaigns. And if you like the results, you can launch your ads right from the platform. Currently, Campaign Planner is only available to a few select advertisers, but the company says it will soon expand its availability. You're successful in business because you love doing the research, whether it's the state of the market or the next right hire. But when you're low on hours and you still want to do a great job on hiring, where do you go for help? It's time for Indeed. Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. And Indeed is the only job site where you're guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements or else you don't pay. Indeed partners with you on every step of the hiring process. Find great talent through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. Start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash digital. Offer valid through March 31st. Go to Indeed.com slash digital to claim your $75 credit before March 31st. Indeed.com slash digital. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Sure, we have 30 seconds to tell you the drivers who switched to Progressive could save big. But then what? Well, we could try to fill the remaining time with awkward pauses. It's often done for comedic effect. Is it working? I can't tell if this is funny. Maybe this is so bad it's funny. Wow, we really peaked at the save big when you switched to Progressive part. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Who needs product photo shoots anymore? Now, AI can generate products for your brand so you don't have to IRL. Today, Amazon announced that its data labeling service, SageMaker Ground Truth, now supports synthetic data generation. This means you will have the option to create a virtually unlimited number of images of a product in different positions, in any environment. The VP of Engineering at Amazon Web Services explained, quote, you start with the 3D model in a number of different formats that you can pull in, and it'll synthetically generate photorealistic images that match the resolution of the sensors you have, unquote. Amazon is also partnering with 3D artists to help companies without their own in-house talent get started with this service. Yes, it's time for another episode of Who's Copying Who? Who's Copying Who? God help me, it's meta again. Isn't it always meta? Yes, yesterday, just one day after Twitter announced that it was testing a new notes feature. Hey, guess what? Instagram is now too. What are the odds? Yes, Instagram confirmed it is testing a new feature called, and I know this will shock you, Notes which lets users post announcements and longer text to their followers. TechCrunch says, in contrast to Twitter's notes, which are for long-form content, Instagram's version is more like a message on a bulletin board. See, guys? Totally different. Screenshots of the new feature suggest that, unlike posting an announcement to your story, Instagram notes will appear in a new row above your messages in your DMs. So far, it looks like notes will be able to have up to 60 characters. And users can respond to them through messages. 
since notes will not be posted to your story, an algorithm won't be working against you, so you can potentially get more reach with a message about an exclusive promotion or a business update. And finally, can the use of the word the in your next ad now get you into legal hot water? I swear I'm not making this up, but Ohio State University has successfully trademarked one of the most common words in the English language, the. Now, before you call your lawyer, the school says it won't be suing any brands using the word the. Its protections are limited to a narrow set of circumstances that pertain to clothing in the realm of sports apparel. So I guess unless you're selling knockoff Ohio State merchandise, you're in the clear. I think I'd like to trademark WTF. Is anyone else getting sick of that stupid thing that TikTok has had for a month now where as soon as you open the app, you get this giant box that's like, hey, you share this and we'll send you 60 bucks or something like that. And then you close it and there is another box <laughs> behind it. Like, I don't know. It's a little, it screams a little desperate to me. Hey, I have a very funny bit of audio for you to end today's show. Perhaps the worst and yet most entertaining ad of all time. Parents, it does contain profanity. But first, a little reminder, if this podcast is on your daily must-listen list, then you might benefit from upgrading your listening experience. By signing up for the premium podcast, you'll get this show, but with no ads, you'll get immediate access to more than 20 deep dive full-length episodes covering the latest in marketing science. Plus, you'll start getting new ones every other weekend. The audio quality is better. There are links to stories in the show notes. It comes out earlier than the free episode. There are even audio chapters that let you jump between stories. Get $30 off the annual plan by going to todayindigital.com slash premium feed or tap the link in the show notes. Okay, so podcasts have been around for more than a decade now. One of the OGs in the game was Bill Burr. This is some audio that Pod News pointed us to today. It is a recording of a host read ad for a berry company. This is how it aired. Enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow. This might be my favorite name of anything I've ever advertised here, uh, other than one white Charlie's. Uh, Sherry's Berries. It says, insert story when you've given or received uh, the gifts. Well, I, I've been out of town. I haven't gotten Sherry's Berries yet. Everybody. All right. Sherry's Berries. Since the end of the, the year is all about delicious holiday food, why not send an extra special holiday treat to friends, family, business associates, associates, everyone you know? I've never met a person who didn't love Sherry's Berries. Send giant dip strawberries from Sherry's Berries for only nineteen ninety nine. That's over a forty percent savings. Go to berries dot com, click on the microphone, and type in Burr B U R R for my listeners. Double the berries for just ten dollars more. Berries are terrific and a sweet holiday gift. They also have delicious products such as Christmas cake pops, cheesecakes, and dipped pretzels. Here's the only way to get. This special 1999 Sherry's Berries offer. <laughs> Call 866 Fruit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck am I selling? <laughs> Did I approve this? This is fucking ridiculous. Who the fuck is gonna buy this shit? This is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Christmas cake pops, cheesecakes, and dipped pretzels. Call 866 Fruit, everybody. <laughs> Eight, I'm sorry, 866 Fruit 0 2. Or even better, <laughs> visit berries.com. <laughs> oh, punch truck. Oh, please spell out the words. Oh, by all means, berries. B E R R I E S. Berries. Click on the microphone in the top right corner and type in Burr. <laughs> you got to see these enormous berries for yourself. <laughs> Go to, I swear to God, this is the copy. Go to berries.com. Click on the microphone and tip in Burr. Type in Burr. Dip your balls and dip your berries in that. Don't wait now. Order. Order some chocolate berries for the fucking person in your life. Oh, shit. I needed that. That was wonderful.
I'm sure I'll get some complaints on that one. We need a conference call. Can't do it. I'm in Helsinki. Hey, you cunts better buy some Sherry's Berries because I'm going to get in trouble with that fucking read. And I'm not changing it because that was hilarious. Um, oh, wiping tears away here. Um, <laughs> and I, my apologies to berries.com. I, I didn't, I didn't look at the copy before I read that. This, I'm too fucking immature to read shit like that. I'm sure you have wonderful chocolate covered berries. All right. <laughs> Switching and saving with GEICO is easy, so you're free to ponder life's big questions. Like if a person can get discombobulated, does that mean the rest of the time they're just like, combobulated? Are we humans always in a state of combobulation? Until of course something dramatic happens, and we are discombobulated for a while. Then we go back to being combobulated. Yeah, that's probably how that works. Switch and save with GEICO. It's easier than you think. 